Today we're going to talk about controlling your Apex with Alexa. Hey guys, Devin with Reef Dudes. Now today I want to give you guys kind of a preview of some of the cool stuff you can do with the new Alexa Apex integration. Now I'll just throw this out at the time of releasing this video, it's still at the beta and SI program, so it's not quite released into the well yet, but it should be soon, so I'll give you guys kind of a cool few sneak peeks. Now one of the ones that you've obviously seen is the whole status update, which you can tell to read whatever parameters on your tank, um, which is kind of fun, like just check that one out. Alexa. Ask Apex Fusion for a status report. pH is 8.23, ORP is 289, and temp is 78.3 degrees. That's kind of fun for the basic stuff, you don't want to pull out your phone. But for me, the real benefit is the fact that when you're using your cell phone, your hands are wet, it is useless. Touch screens are absolutely garbage with wet fingers. So when you're doing tasks on your tank and you need to turn something on and off, for instance, I just have my hands in the tank, I feel like cleaning my skimmer, but I have to pull out the cell phone and try and fumble through all those things. One, the touch ID on the iPhone sucks if your hands are wet. Two, even trying to move those switches is painful. So with voice commands, I can be like, Alexa, tell Apex Fusion to turn off the skimmer. I'm switching the skimmer to off. Boom, skimmer's off. So look at that, didn't even have to touch it. Or what if we want to empty our turf scrubber? We don't want to turn off the flow valves to mess with our settings. Alexa. Tell Apex Fusion to turn off the reactor pump. I'm switching the reactor pump to off. And off. So tons of stuff like that. So you can control all these little things without having to mess with your settings, your schedules, other stuff. Uh, now one cool thing is you can ask her to turn something on and it will flip your switch and fusion to the on position. Or you can ask her to restart it, which will turn it back on instantly and kind of bypass stuff with a delay. So right now my skimmer, I think it has a three or five minute delay when I turn it off to back on. So if I ask her to restart it, it'll turn on right away and bypass that delay script, which is pretty cool for cleaning the skimmer cup and put it back on. So Alexa, tell Apex Fusion to restart the skimmer. I'm restarting the skimmer. And there you go, pump starting to spool up. So tons of really cool, useful features like that. Um, it's going to make maintenance that much easier. Um, same thing if you want to turn off a pump as you're doing maintenance, you don't have to pull out your phone, you don't have to reach in your tank. When your hands are wet, this thing's going to be a savior. So really digging it so far. If there's anything you guys want me to test out, I can show you guys. Uh, to do it, you can simply go into Apex Fusion and add some aliases. And aliases are whatever you want to call, kind of like the, the smart shortcut name for the device. Um, so these are all your commands that you can use to control. Now if we look up on the right hand side, up at the top here, this is where all our inputs are what we want to use in our news flash. So you can put anything you want here. Um, ideally, you don't want to keep it too long because it wants to sit there and listen to 30 items being listed off. You really only want the few kind of main essential things. Now, if you want to get really fancy and do a whole sequence of things, you can use stuff like one of your feed modes. Or if you want to um, control a bunch of stuff off one command, you can do something like use a virtual outlet and use that to trigger off on and off a whole slew of different stuff. So you can do a lot of really cool stuff with this. So I think this is a really handy, handy feature, especially when your hands are wet or if you're just lazy, you don't want to pull your phone out of your pocket. Build very valid reasons in my books. So if you guys enjoyed this, as always, smash that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. If you got any questions, you want me to test out anything or figure out something for you guys, let me know in the comments below. I'm always here to help guys. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'll catch you guys on the next video.